Planet Dolan. From losing your terrorist funds by gambling online to blowing up your entire class during a suicide bombing lesson, we count eight of the dumbest terror plots that failed. Hey there guys, I'm Denji Dolan's mysterious brother. I'm here to blow your mind with academic research, insight, and other dark magic. Number eight. Live TV can be intimidating. There are certain things you don't want to screw up while cameras are broadcasting to millions around the country. While I've never done it, I assume assassinating a politician is one of those things, but that's exactly what happened for would-be assassin Oktay Anamemedov when he screwed up his assassination plot at point-blank range in 2013. His target was Bulgarian politician Ahmed Dogan. Instead of accosting him in some dark alley, for some reason Octai thought it was smart to do the deed live on TV. He couldn't get hold of a real gun, so he went for a gas pistol which fires tear gas pellets instead of bullets. This meant he had to shoot him in the eye from right up close. He stuck the gun right in Ahmed's face and fired, but the pistol jammed. Ahmed swatted him away like some fly and Octai was swarmed by an angry mob from the audience. Now that is a bad day at the office. Number 7. In 2013, Islamic extremists in England redefined stupid with an explosively dumb plan to kill civilians using sports ice packs. They planned to buy hundreds of ice packs using money received from impersonating charity representatives and construct a giant bomb using the ice pack's key ingredient, ammonium nitrate. Unfortunately for them, these ice packs no longer contain ammonium nitrate. Ha! I bet these assholes wish they'd paid better attention in science class now. Their plan was doomed to fail anyway, as they even bungled the extort a charity part of the plan, only securing enough money to buy a single ammonium nitrate free ice pack. Clearly in the wrong career, guys. To change their fortunes, the 322 pound ringleader Chubbs tried online gambling, but one of Chubbs' cronies lost £9,000 placing dud bets and leaving the betting site unattended while making a cup of tea. The group was eventually caught and their entire legal defense was constructed around how pathetic they were. These fucking morons make Team Rocket look like criminal geniuses. Number 6. Terrorist schemes are usually foiled by the FBI with the help of anonymous tip-offs, but in this instance, the hero of the show was a little guy called Static Electricity. Salman al Taizi and Walid Ashibi were a pair of Yemeni terrorists who planned to blow up a national embassy with a missile. They set up base near the Cuban embassy and were in the final stages of preparations when everything went wrong. While walking across the carpet, Walid generated enough static electricity with his feet that their missile accidentally misfired. Instead of heading across the street for its target, it shot straight at Salman, killing him instantly. Walid himself suffered grievous wounds and died shortly after. Have you ever played a video game where you forgot to turn off the friendly fire? It's ugly stuff. Number 5. In 2007, some wannabe extremists finished their copy of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Terrorism and began preparing an attack on New Jersey's Fort Dix army base. Unfortunately, they'd only skim read chapter 5 so they didn't get the part about not putting fucking incriminating videos in the hands of their enemies. The dipshits had been videotaping their shooting range training sessions with a camera they'd bought from Best Buy. That's right. Best Buy. Let's take down Capitalist America by supporting Capitalist America? Anyway, they were also useless with technology, so they went to an electronic store for help transferring their footage to DVD. The clerk who helped them was just an ordinary Joe, but even he could see the gun-waving idiots shouting for jihad in the footage were up to no good. He reported the punks to the police, and with handy video evidence, it was easy to convict them of conspiracy to commit acts of terror. Number 4. Teaching a class of suicide bombers how to blow themselves up might not sound like rocket science, but apparently it's harder than it looks. At least it was for the instructor at a terrorist training camp in Baghdad. The instructor was teaching a class on bomb construction when the damn thing went off in his hands, killing him and all of the 21 trainees in attendance. Iraqi citizens called their stupid deaths an act of God and believed it was payback for all the innocent lives terrorists have taken. Number 3. If Osama bin Laden is remembered as the most dangerous terrorist ever, Muhammad Ashar may be remembered as the dumbest. Muhammad was a wanted Taliban commander in Afghanistan who turned himself in to authorities to claim the reward money. This idiot walked right up to a police checkpoint, pointed to the wanted poster featuring his face, and asked enthusiastically if he could have the finder's fee. I don't think anyone told him how wanted posters work. Security forces arrested him and officials called him an imbecile and the Taliban equivalent of the Home Alone burglars. In case you're thinking that he was just some weird lookalike, 
Officials took a biometric scan of him and confirmed that he really was the man they'd been looking for. Number two. Australia's been pretty fortunate when it comes to terror attacks. Most of them have been pretty minor or narrowly averted. In 2016, this almost changed. 19-year-old Sevdet Ramadan Basim had plotted a deadly attack in the city of Melbourne. The plot involved explosives and a beheading and was said to be executed on Anzac Day, Australia's national holiday for commemorating fallen soldiers. Fortunately, his plan was an 11 out of 10 on the stupidity meter and only would have worked if this was a Looney Tunes cartoon rather than, you know, real life. The plan involved stuffing a kangaroo's pouch with explosives, painting the creature's fur with Islamic State symbols and setting it loose on police officers. Police arrested Sevdet before he could enact his harebrained scheme, which is almost a shame. It would have been cool to see a wild kangaroo beat the shit out of him. Number 1 We've all heard spiels about text messaging taking lives, but this Russian suicide bomber found out that doesn't just apply to drivers. The woman was hoping to detonate a bomb and kill everyone around her during a New Year's Eve celebration in Moscow's Red Square. However, while she was still in the safe house, an unexpected text message came in and accidentally set off her belt bomb, blowing her to pieces before she could make her political statement. Ironically, the message was from her phone company, wishing her a happy new year. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time. Firework before sharing the inferno on Facebook with the caption, like my fire? While the fire started out small, it eventually burned down 51,000 acres, causing over $8 million in damages. When asked why she did it, she said she was concerned the firefighters were bored.